you want to learn how to add a text on an object in Blender or maybe add a tattoo on your character or maybe just have a full blown video play on it. Well, this video is going to be your ultimate guide on learning how to do all of that. So make sure to watch it till the end because I have got a lot to teach you today. We are going to do two, three steps. Step one would be we need an image with a black and white background or some other color is fine too, but the less colors there are, the better it's going to work. And it would be better if colors are more contrasty in nature. Step two, we're going to need a model to add the text on. I have this sword model that I have created for a video that nobody watched. We're going to remove all the material on it and add a new one. And we're going to name that material blade. Now let's click on this plus icon and add another shader that we will name tattoo. Let's set up the blade shader to have a metallic properties of one and roughness of 0.2. And let's repeat the same thing for the tattoo shader. But now we are also going to add the image texture in the tattoo shader. And let's select the image that we want on our model. Let's change the vector properties of the image texture to source from the UV instead of generated. And let's plug it in. And that's about it. No, I'm just kidding. We are long way from there. So let's change this value from repeat to extend to ensure that the shader is only repeated once. You might be wondering why the texture is not showing on the blade. Well, that's because we have not added the tattoo shader anywhere. So let's hit tab and go to the edit mode. Now select the faces that you want to apply the textures to and then hit assign and you can already see the texture. Now let's move to the UV editing tab and let's hit tab again and let's click on the tattoo shader and click select. You can already see those faces highlighted in the UV editing tab. Click on A to select all of them and then click on U and then unwrap and this lays down the face in a more systematic manner and adjust and resize it to bring the pattern in view and make it look like the way that you want it. And once you're satisfied, you can move to the next step. Step three, we got our pattern, but the rest of the shader doesn't match the surrounding and that makes it look weird. There is an easy fix to it. Let's bring a color ramp and add it next to the image texture and plug this in to the base color so that we can see what we are doing. Adjust it until you only see white for the pattern and black for the background. Now add the mix shader and the emission texture and plug in the output from the color ramp into the factor of the mix shader and the other two shaders in the other two spots. And here is a bonus tip for you. If you want to add a video, you would need an image sequence of your video and you can simply select all the images in the sequence and click OK. Also make sure that you are clicking on cyclic and auto refresh. Your object will now have a video playing on it. And there you have it. Although I'm not sure if you know about it, but Blender has changed the way you can add bloom to your objects and it's a little complicated now. So click on this video here to know more about it.